guys, it's Cece, and today I'm here to do my TBR for the Holiday Booktubeathon. So the Holiday Booktubeathon is an annual event, just like the regular Booktubeathon that happens over the summer, but it takes place during the holidays. You see? It's all right there in the title. So this readathon takes place over the 29th, the 30th, and the 31st of December this year. It's just a little bit later this year than it was last year, but yeah, those are the days that the Holiday Booktubeathon is taking place over. I am very excited to participate. I enjoyed participating last year, although I did come down with a terrible cold last year during the Holiday Booktubeathon, and it like ruined the sound for all of my videos at the beginning of this year because I had this terrible croaky voice, so I'm like crossing my fingers that I don't somehow get sick again during this readathon. But the Holiday Booktubeathon is a pretty simple readathon. There are four goals overall, and we have three days to read three books. That's that's one of the goals, read three books. So I am going to quickly tell you my TBR for this readathon, and the very first challenge is to read a book that has your favorite color on the cover. For this challenge, I've decided to read Blink by Ted Decker. And the reason that I chose to read Blink is that my favorite color is green, and there is a very, very green eye right here on the cover. And the reason I have chosen this book in particular is that it is the final book left on my top 16 to read in 2016. TBR from the beginning of the year. This is the only one left. I'm currently reading more than this. Hopefully I will be finishing it tonight if I can really push myself. And then all that's left is Blink. As I've said in previous TBRs, this is not a book I think that I would have picked up at this point in my life. It has some red flags on the cover there and some red flags in the description, but I want to be able to read it so I feel I've accomplished my goal. Basically, this is a thriller and it follows this main kid who has an incredibly high IQ and then suddenly he gets the ability to see multiple potential futures. So, yeah, I really do love Ted Decker's writing. I think that it is very engrossing and fast-paced. So, at least I have that to look forward to, I think. The next Booktubeathon challenge is to read a genre that you discovered this year. This had a couple of different interpretations. It could be a genre you read for the very first time, or it could be a genre you rediscovered, or just a genre you read more of this year and found yourself really enjoying. So that last one, that's what I'm going with. This year I have read a lot more graphic novels and comics than I ever have before in my life. Actually, that was one of my goals going into 2016, was to read more graphic novels and comics, so goal achieved. But I decided that to continue on with this, that I was going to read a couple of trade paperbacks, some comics, and I'm going to be reading Saga Volumes 3 and possibly 4. So Saga is a comic series by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. It takes place in space. There's a forbidden romance, a war, a forbidden child, lots of aliens, and it's really, really fantastic. I loved reading Saga Volume 1 last year. I loved reading Volume 2 this year, so I really want to get to 3 and 4 before 2016 ends because I'm kind of behind as it is. But yes, it is my goal to also read these two during the Holiday Booktubeathon. It gives me something a little easier and faster to get through, so it's always good for me to choose something short during a readathon. And the final booktubeathon like reading challenge was to read a book that was a gift, and so I have chosen Buffering Unshared Tales of a Life Fully Loaded by Hannah Hart. The main reason I chose this is, first of all, of all of the books that I got for Christmas, this is the only one that is kind of remotely readable in a day. Everything else is over 500 pages, so that made this kind of an obvious choice. But also, last year during the Holiday Booktubeathon, I read Felicia Day's memoir, You're Never Weird on the Internet Almost, so I thought it was like a nice tradition to read another memoir by a famous, you know, internet personality. I really love memoirs of impressive women, and I really like Hannah Hart. It is like a little over 200 pages, which is actually a little bit shorter, I think, than Felicia Day's. So if I could get through that one last year, I think I can get through this one this year. So then, of course, that leaves the final, the fourth challenge, which is to read three books in three days. And we're going with this counts as three books. I know these are technically like trade paperbacks, but I count each of them as a book when I read them over the year. So yeah, this is my TBR for the Holiday Booktubeathon. These are the books that I'm going to be reading and I'm really hoping I can do it. If you are participating in the Holiday Booktubeathon and you have a TBR, whether that's a video or a picture on Instagram, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to go watch it or see it. I will leave the links to the Holiday Booktubeathon channel as well as to the Twitter and the Instagram down in the description below. I believe there will be Instagram challenges 
not 100% sure, but there will be Twitter sprints. So make sure to go and follow Holiday Booktubeathon everywhere. I hope that you have a good Holiday Booktubeathon if you're participating, and if not, I wish you luck in finishing up all of your reading for the end of the year, because I know that that can be like kind of a, a scary time trying to get in those last books before the year closes. So I hope you enjoy all of that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!